Now I'm going to show you an example of a supine traction setup. For this setup, we've now uh, placed our the Astroglide portable table, which fits very nicely inside of the uh, standing unit, and we're going to utilize this for our setup. For this setup, we're also going to utilize the traction blocks. There's a 3-inch, a 2-inch, and a 5-inch block. The setup I'm going to show you is for a uh, typical posterior translated thoracic posture where we're going to pull the thoracics forward and at the same time induce curvature into the lumbar spine. So, uh, we'll also set it up so that we can uh, tilt the pelvis uh, into an anterior flexion. We'll have uh, Amanda lie down. First we're going to place the straps across the anterior thighs and tighten them down. This placement is so that is when we apply the traction we get the nice flexion to the pelvis. This, uh, the load locks will simply lock into your tracking and then we'll, with a ratchet, rope ratchet, we can just tighten that right down. Next we're going to take the uh, more heavy duty crossbar, we'll hook that up. and we're going to take the non-adjustable neoprene covered traction belt. We'll place that behind her. We Very often for the lumbar traction, we'll use two of them tend to be a little more comfortable for the patient. We'll hook those up to our crossbar. As soon as we have both of those hooked up to our crossbar, we can now start to apply our, our traction. And now again, um, with this, uh, we can uh, vary the angle. We can set for a 30 degree angle, 20 degree or 10 degree angle, depending on where the most loss of curvature is. We've got it set so that we can, as we pull, we can get the anterior tilt to the pelvis. If you're having a hard time, uh, if it's a, a, a lot of loss of curvature in the lumbar spine and you want to try to concentrate that traction more, you can place a second strap uh, across the uh, lower rib cage right below the chest again. And again, we simply lock in our load lock pull our rope tight and now this will tend to help to con keep us from raising her completely off the table and help to concentrate the traction into the lumbar spine. Again if we have a, a scale we do have a heavy duty scale that can be used with this setup to know how many pounds of pull you're doing or you can do simply do it to patient tolerance.